the Bob Mills Weather Center. Meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, we saw a frosty start for many people this morning. Unfortunately, tomorrow could be similar for parts of the area. Maybe not quite as cold as temperatures made this morning, but it'll be close, especially Tulsa to the north and off to the east. Anywhere near these counties, uh, we, we, we're watching out for the possibility of frost tomorrow morning once again. So just going to go ahead one, one more night of taking those precautions, and hopefully after that, Hopefully we can be done with this, but we'll we'll see. After all, this is Oklahoma. Right now we're at 62. Temperatures rebounded nicely. A lot more cloud cover down across Texas, Louisiana, the Arklatex, Arklamets. That's why they're a wee bit colder. The Great Lakes area a bit colder as well. But all in all, despite these temperatures being a good bit below normal, really a pretty nice day. Lots of sunshine thanks to this high pressure area and uh, not much wind as well. Also thanks to that big blue H. There's a lot of rain down towards Corpus Christi and Houston. Uh, otherwise, pretty quiet across the central United States, more storminess over the mountains in the west, and some of that will be trying to move our direction over the coming couple of days. In the meantime, beautiful sunshine, Jinx looking A-OK. -okay. We're talking about 62, northeast breeze at 9. Dry air still in place. Dew point at 26, and once again, that with the light winds and clear skies will cause issues for us overnight tonight. Across the state, we're seeing temperatures along the Red River in the 50s. That's thanks once again to cloud cover that's hung tough down there all day. Where the clouds cleared out, we managed to rebound nicely. A really nice afternoon up into the lower and middle 60s. Overnight, we'll see those clouds kind of stay, uh, stay at bay. We won't see them tonight. Tomorrow morning, with light winds, clear skies, we'll be back down into the upper 30s mid 30s to the north and the east of Tulsa. So once again, that potential at least for a little frost. Clouds will start to increase from the west during the day. So we'll start off sunny and by late in the day, we'll see clouds roll in. We'll top out mid to upper 60s. So another pretty nice afternoon. A little bit breezier though with those south winds kicking back up at least just a little bit and a little bit of a shower chance by late in the day. Then as we head towards Tuesday, we're going to talk about uh, showers and storms moving back into the picture. Some of those could be strong to severe, but most of the severe weather does look to stay down into Texas or at least along the Red River. And the radar could look a little bit like this. Widespread uh, showers and embedded thunder temperatures way cooler will be generally in the 50s, and that's why the severe weather risk not too high up here, but higher down into the Texas area where we could be more into the 60s and maybe 70s. Then Wednesday, just kind of widespread rain, upper 50s to low 60s being pretty common. Once again, we could see some pretty decent totals of rainfall with these rain chances really sticking around all the way through Friday night and Saturday before a front comes through and clears us out, at least with the rain chances. And those totals, once again, look pretty promising. Most of the state kind of in that one to two, locally three inches of rain type area. And notice it's not just southeast Oklahoma this time. It actually expands west of I-35, which is a site for sore eyes because drought conditions continue to be problematic. And then after the rain moves in, well, we're going to have the rain in, in place. We're going to see those temperatures well below normal. But that looks to stick around as we head into the weekend and then on into the following week. So this kind of extended stretch of cooler temperatures could go into early May. But I think by the time we get to around the third or fourth, we'll start to swing the corner around and, and maybe see those temperatures rebound to at least back up near normal. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, but cooler than normal temperatures look to be sticking around for a while. Average highs during that time frame generally kind of in the mid 70s. So below normal could still mean 69 or 70 at that point in time. And then near normal on the precip side of things. And as we head into the evening hours, we're going to see those temperatures start to fall 58 at 9 clear by tomorrow morning. We're down into the upper 30s, mid 30s to the north and northeast of Tulsa. Rain becomes likely by Tuesday and Wednesday. Could see a few embedded thunderstorms and then we'll see those chances gradually go downward with temperatures staying generally in the 60s for the bulk of this forecast, other than maybe the two rainiest days, once again, that being Tuesday and Wednesday. So cool weather, rainy weather, but we do need the rain, so we'll take it uh, wherever we can get, especially to the west of Tulsa. From the, That's it for 